scary. It's a very, very scary thing to watch. Woo! The people's still driving in there. Oh, sh holy mackerel. Oh my God, there are people stopping. Oh man, this is really bad. This is really bad. It's gonna be a second day. Go inside. I'm just saying to my son, go inside. Oh my God, no. No. Finally, and after way too many bad things that have happened to me over the last couple of months, it's time for unfortunate event number four. If you recall unfortunate event number one, it's when that young driver decided to aim his vehicle directly at our power pole. It took out the power for a day, but it annihilated the internet to our house for some six weeks. It made for a very internet-free Christmas holidays. I thought to myself, not much else could go wrong after that happening to us, but I was totally wrong the very next day. The hailstorm from hell appeared. It delivered very large hailstones and damaged a stack of cars. It took out lots and lots of tiled roofs and metal ones. And it set up for some people fights with their insurance companies, which have been going on for some 11 months. Hey, it may go on forever. You see, we've learned some new terms from the insurance companies. Things like previous damage. Another one is unkept house. And maybe my favourite one is that hailstone has exposed a previous crack on a tile. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, or should I say hailstone, of the many games the insurance assessors have been playing. But that hailstorm had a partner which arrived an hour later. It was a deluge of rain that was akin to something you'd build Noah's Ark for. This rain event ensured that any home that had been opened up by that hailstorm an hour earlier had a torrent of rain that came into the house, destroyed all the furniture, took out the electricals, made the house unlivable and set up for a Christmas that you just wanted to forget. And just when everyone thought they'd had enough of the summer storms, along comes unfortunate event number four. And taking a look at the weather radar at this storm, oh my crikeys, remember the black areas is where the danger zone is. This storm came through and delivered a savage punch of rain and very high winds. The damaged homes in the suburb were always going to struggle against this massive rainstorm. But what about Mrs. Drain Spider, the redback spider who lives in the drain? Can she survive a torrent of water that's going to totally clear out her drain? Okay, let's do it. Okay, there's a really, really bad storm coming in. I've just had some messages from some, from some friends. I've got the cars under cover. Wow, what is that? A piece of something tree in the air. This is moving very fast. This looks really, really bad. Look at the speed of the clouds over there. Ah, uh, this is cranking. Crikey, Charlie's, that's on the phone. That is massive and that's moving fast. Wow, there's a lot of rain in it. There's a lot of rain in this. It's coming in. There's a lot of wind. Oh, crikeys. This is really bad. We've only, oh my God. I think I have to go aside. This is really bad. Really windy. Crikeys. There's going to be a stack of damage in this one, I can tell you. There's just so much wind, there's so much rain, it is really strong. Uh, it's sort of difficult to explain what's going on. It's, it's really, really coming through. Can you see the, the way the wind is pushing the rain? There are people still driving this. Get off the road! You idiots, get off the road! I don't know what they're doing driving in this. This is one of these really, really bad summer storms, uh, like a tropical depression. So much rain is falling, there's a lot of lightning. Wow, the people who warned me about this are correct, I can tell you. Really, really bad, so much rain. It's unbelievable. That's the garage where I've already had all the damage from the uh, other that we had back in December. But man, this is just crazy. This is just crazy, crazy weather. It's a, like a really, really windy, very, very trenching sort of downpour. Um, it's swirling around, there's bits of tree coming off. Uh, whoa, 
so much wind. It's just, I've just never seen rain move like this. That's what's so unusual about it. No, oh, man. Very scary. It's a very, very scary thing to watch. Woo! The people still driving in there. Oh, holy mackerel. Oh my God, there are people stopping. Oh man, this is really bad. This is really bad. There's gonna be a stack of damage. Go inside. I'm just saying to my son, go inside. Oh my God. I'm just gonna clear the lens, hang on a second. This is whoa! I can hear the wind pounding. Oh man! There's oh Christ! There's our lightning. Somehow I think we still got power. I don't know how. Oh, this is an unbelievable storm. There was very little warning. In fact, I got people listen. There are people sending me messages about this. I'm just gonna try. Oh my crikey! It's just the strangest sort of weather. Oh, unbelievable. I mean, this is just really, really scary because you just don't know when your roof's gonna go. We've all got wicked roofs because of the, the massive storm we had back in December. I'm just shaking here, watching this weather. I can't believe people are trying to drive in this. It just doesn't make any sense. Unbelievable! Oh, it's like a cyclone. I'm just trying to work out. Like you don't see storms like this normally. Oh, crikey, Charlie! Look at the wind there, man! Whoa! If I keep hard up to the wall here of the house, I can sort of sneak up and get a view here without getting drenched because there's so much rain coming around the corner. I'm trying to think it's coming from the south. It, man, it's cold now. I'm shivering in, in this now. It's freezing cold. The roof there is, it, it's just leaking water. I mean, all our roofs are weakened. It's just like, I can't believe. I'm just shivering in cold. Look, that's the scary part of these storms, the way the temperature just swings around, it's just bitterly cold. And we had like a really humid, humid hot day. Oh man, this is bad. And it's still coming. I was just gonna try and get to my phone, but now we're getting hail, I'm hearing the tinks of hail. Oh no, it's really hard. We get more hail, our house is gonna be totally destroyed. We've already got a, a roof that's wrecked. The, the rain's starting to ease off a bit, but I'm starting to hear hail. It's freezing cold. Oh, oh, that was too close for me. That was too close. And I'm starting to, I can see hail now. Oh no, I can start to see hail. Oh no. No, go away. Go away, I don't want any more hail. The house is already wrecked, the neighbor's house is wrecked, the whole suburb is wrecked. Oh no, not again. The hail is just getting bigger and bigger and more intense. Look at the wind! Look at the wind! <laughs> I don't know what I want! I don't want this saw anymore! Go away, saw! It's so bad! It's so bad! That's the thing! <laughs> I don't want to know! <laughs> it's terrible! There's a lot of hail now! There's so much hail coming in! I'll just come out the back now and uh, it seems to have settled down a little bit. Oh no! <laughs> that was, uh, it's still a lot of rain, the hail has eased up a bit. What it's going to do, it's going to rip all the tarps off the houses that have been damaged from the storm back in late December. It's going to be a total and utter disaster. This is up the side of the house, a big mess. That, that, that there is fail, that was smashed from the other storm, that bit of plumbing. It's just a big mess up there. Giant mess. I'm back out the front, there's, there's more hail falling. This is an unbelievable storm. I've never seen anything like this one. Look at the hail there. I call that like normal size hail. Oh my God. Oh, the damage. Oh my God, no. Any 
this. Oh my God. And finally, people have stopped driving. I was wondering when they were gonna stop driving. There's not a car on the road. There is just so much water falling down there. Oh my God. So much damage is gonna be from the storm. So much damage. Oh my God. The storm is more hail. It just will not let up. The storm will just not let up. I cannot believe it. Oh my God. This is one of the worst storms I've been through. It's a very different storm than the last storm. Oh my God. There's still no traffic on the road. It's starting to lighten up a bit. And uh, the hail comes and goes. It's been a very long duration storm. There's been massive lightning bolts. Man, very different storm to the one we had in late December, but it was very, very scary. And the storm hasn't finished yet. It's coming around in different waves. It must be circling around. Oh, I've just, I've just had so much damage to our place. We're gonna get more from this storm. But there's gonna be some people who's gonna be like literally totally devastated because of the amount of damage and the amount of roofs that were lost in the December storm. This is just the icing on the cake in the worst way. I can tell you it's gonna be so much damage from this one. It was so bad, not even Optimus Prime survived that one. He's down on the ground, down for the count. Oh, here comes some more hail. It just, it just keeps tricking me, the storm. I think it's over. And then there's more hail. Okay, it's, it's luckily hasn't been too big, the hail in this storm. Not like the giant hail we got back in December. That's what the radar is looking like. That is just a massive, angry, angry storm, okay? When it's black, there's a lot of rain, but the speed it's moving at is really scary. My crikeys, it's a storm that has gone away as fast as it came. I did have quite a few people uh, send me messages warning me about this, and I was busily making a stupid video, wasn't I? Yes, a nasty storm. So the next day, I did a bit of a scout around the suburb to see what that very nasty storm had done. The first thing I noticed was quite a few tarps that were covering the damaged roofs were looking fairly shabby. Okay, some mess and debris on the roads. And if I go around to where the local telephone exchange is, um, there's branches down. It's a reminder why you don't get under a tree in a storm. And there's another one just over there. Nasty. Quite sizable tree here has uh, dropped a quite a sizable branch. Looks like a bit of, I think it's power line infrastructure ripped down here. Look, in a little while the copper thieves will come along and steal that, I know. Ah uh, yes, a couple of beautiful scrub turkeys. I think they're both young females. See if I can get in closer on them. They're protected birds, a bush turkey, scrub turkey, whatever you want to call them. And the other one is there, they're only young. They're quite small, but they're beautiful and they're scrounging around after the storm. Wonderful to see. Maybe I should put those two on my bush turkey spotter app because uh, there's someone who's trying to work out where these birds are and aren't in town. I, I see a lot of them. Some people say, oh, they're rare species. Well, no, I see heaps of these birds. Oh, there you go, they can fly. There's a nice little flight. They're not very good flyers, they tend to skittle across the top of trees, and then maybe this one here will follow. Okay, up here is looking a little bit more serious, the tree is almost covering the road. In the part of town where I live, there's been a bit of an awakening about the dangers of trees around homes, and just trees in general. Trees can be amazing, they look nice, they create shade, but sadly trees in a suburban environment so often grow oversized because they are not competing amongst other trees as they would be if they were growing naturally down in the bush. A lot of homeowners don't understand the risk of giant oversized trees which are hard up against properties. What tends to happen is, as the summer storms come through, often there's high winds associated with them. This unfortunate event had very high winds, and trees will either fail at the branch area, or they'll uproot themselves, or if it's really bad, they will just snap right in the middle. There was another unfortunate event a year and a day after the one I featured in this video, and it was a massive rainstorm that super saturated the ground. Apart from the absolute record rainfall, there was also very insidious wind squalls that were going on all day long. 
And it was this storm that really wreaked a lot of damage because a lot of the trees just failed at the root level because the ground was so saturated with water. And when I started to take a closer look at what was going on, many of the trees that had failed had termite damage going on. The main damage from this storm was it uprooted so many trees, it destroyed much of the power infrastructure and many people were without power for well over a week. But this is a story for an upcoming unfortunate event. Let's get back to the storm that we focused on in this video and see what happened to Mrs. Drain Spider. I know you'll ask the question, what about Mrs. Drain Spider? Did she survive that massive storm? Let's take a look. Uh, what's worrying me here is I can't see any of her web. It's totally clean here. Normally there's leaves and lots of her web set up here. Um, maybe I'm gonna have to take a look up inside there to see if you can see any evidence of Mrs. Drain Spider. Now I can't really see my phone screen. I'm just moving the phone around and maybe when I take this home, I'll be able to see if we can see any spiders up there. Remembering there was a whole family of redback spiders here, well, prior to that giant storm. I've just looked back at the footage uh, away from the drain because I lay in the ground here to get that footage. It's not looking too good. I think Mrs. Redback Drain Spider and her family have been flushed out to sea. Oh uh, yes, uh, everyone who sees me doing this video here, they think I've lost it, okay? <laughs> People toot at me and they think I'm in trouble in the gutter. I just say, hey, I'm looking for my pet redback spider. Anyway, it is sad that she's gone and her family. I do believe she's gone. Luckily, I've got video of her just before that rain event. It does confirm to me that yes, environmental factors have a huge impact on these wondrous spiders. Sadly, it looks like she's gone. But wait, there is a glimmer of hope in reviewing the video. I can see a very small female redback spider up on the roof of the pipe there. It only takes one female redback spider to survive to create the next spider generation or apocalypse depending on how you see it. And sure enough, by the next spider season which came around the next summer, guess what I find in drain spider's home? Yes, there is the next drain spider. And from what I could witness, this drain spider was having as much fun living in the pipe as the previous drain spider that I suspect was flushed out to sea after the giant rainstorm. It's so nice to finish on a happy ending. Drain Spider survives.